What's up, you big, beautiful television nerds? It's Rob, and I'm back with another episode. I just wanted to do a quick explainer video on an intercom I'm about to install in an um, Atlanta sports venue based on the RTS Odin frame. And this is a network-based inter intercom from RTS, and I am leveraging networking out the katukas here on this install. Um, I have a room here, which has got me a, uh, the ability to spread out and kind of simulate different venues. I've delineated each, uh, each venue or point of presence or area of the stadium here. So let's start here at the core. This is going to be a rack mount area where I can uh, stash a bunch of gear. I've got an Odin frame with 112 ports. I've got some wireless intercom or wireless uh, IFB transmitter. So I can't go everywhere in this building. It's way too big to run lines. So I've asked the venue and they have agreed to give me some VLAN, a dry VLAN uh, ports in different areas. So uh, let's kind of zoom through it and then I'll go back around and do some more uh, specific talk. So this is an upstairs room, uh, a production facility for that they use for their uh, board show. And here at Front of House Audio, we'll have a live event producer, which will be calling the show from an in-venue perspective. Uh, these are the video technicians at Front of House Video that'll be rolling back elements inside the, uh, the Jumbotron and um, also doing fan cam and stuff like that. We're also providing services for a secondary uh, television show, which will have a producer and, and three announcers. Uh, we're calling that the announce and they are, um, they're in an ADA section. Then down in the truck dock where the main television truck, uh, is parked, we have an interface and also we have a, a second production office down in the security office. So those are the places we need to communicate. And for my bench testing here, I've kind of just set up the gear that will be involved in each one of these venues where we can troubleshoot it close by each other. So I'm going to go through now and tell you what's in each place. Uh, I guess I should say that we are, we're using ubiquity devices and we are uh, fully managed with level three switches, layer three switches that are, um, we are going to put on top of the VLAN, the dry VLAN that the venue is going to provide us. And we are dropping network gear and then network devices at each one of those places. So let's go through the tutorial. Uh, this Odin is 112 ports, which will allow us to be able to um, have a lot of ta uh, discrete talk and listen destinations. Uh, there's at least four IP addresses in this thing that we'll be using uh, in this installation. And so this eight port switch that will be at the front of house video is way too small. That'll be replaced with a 16 port. Oh, did I mention that we're also using Romeo? This is the wireless belt pack solution from RTS. We have two access points here that will be providing uh, coverage throughout the venue for uh, Romeo for floor producers, talent followers, and stage managers and such like that. The front of house audio position is where the live event producer is going to live. I've just got some plug destinations in here. Probably doesn't make any sense right now, but uh, again, anchored on ubiquity, uh, switches, power over ethernet, SFP based. I, I went with these switches for the next project, whatever the next project might be and uh, went with pretty much identical switches. Uh, front of house video is going to use legacy panels like uh, these belt or these uh, tabletop panels right here. Because they will be close to the Odin frame, I can, uh, I can use regular old legacy cabling. Here we can see the uh, Ubiquity edge routers that I will be using to administrate this intercom uh, and a couple of opportunities for VPN access. Uh, here we have the internet. Did, who would have ever thought that the internet was based on D-Link technology? Well, there it is. Using a little WAN switch to uh, simulate the World Wide Web. So like I said, guys, don't be confused. Uh, I want you to understand these pink lines are divisions of areas of this uh, 
sports facility here in Atlanta, the uh, Gwinnett Arena or the Infinite Energy Arena. It's a full-size sports arena. And so when we cross a pink line like this, we're crossing hundreds of cable feet. So this blue cable is signified by the uh, arena's VLAN that they're providing for us. So when we cross the pink line with the blue cable, this is actually going to be VLAN that the venue is providing. So let's go on into the unannounced position. This is, like I said, uh, the ADA seating position is just what we call it. But there's going to be three announcers there, play-by-play uh, -play -play color spare. These are uh, talkback boxes or talent uh, comm boxes made by Studio Technologies, Dante-based. And, um, you know, talkback um, mutes the on-air traffic and lets them talk back to the producer, all powered by a PoE switch, right? Okay, let's go down to the truck dock where we would uh, connect to the television truck that is also doing a simultaneous broadcast. This truck dock has, um, this is uh, an MD4 by Studio Technologies. Oh, sorry, uh, private labeled uh, by Sound Devices, made by Studio Technologies. This is a four-wire interface for the truck and is four channels. So this will allow us to have director to director, producer to producer, producer to... Um, timeout coordinator and another private line um, all across the Dante network into the television truck. Here we have some other switches that are a little bit of a side project for that television truck. But we also have another switch here. It's chattering. And this yellow wire, again, multi, uh, different color wire crossing into a new venue is signifying the truck's VLAN. So we're going to be VLAN accessed into this switch and this truck dock is near the field of play. So we have another access point from RTS for the Romeo belt packs. So let's go into another venue and or area point of presence, if you will, the security office, there'll be a producer there. So we have a producer's key panel here and they can produce their talent over in the ADA section right? So this key panel will, is not populated with buttons yet, but would allow people to talk to different uh, people on the intercom, including live event producer or network show producer or league show producer. And again, uh, we will be uh, connecting that to our switch, which is being connected VPN access through the venue by the venue. And so there will be an audio board in here that will do a sub-mix or a talent mix for that other show. But uh, this is my little intercom narrative of what's going in the Gwinnett Arena or the Infinite Energy Arena for the Georgia Swarm season. Let's hear some questions.